Commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game one between Advil and Doodle. Doodle starting the upper right hand corner with the shiny beta art. Pink Protoss Nexus. Bottom right hand corner, we have Advil, our Terran hero, starting as the brown Terran. This is on Butter. And yeah, in the best of eight, we already know that Bonbon bon has advanced to the round of four. Not sure the bracket's going to shape up after that. These two guys. Oh, Doodle sending out a very early scout. I think we're going to see some cheese here. No pylon in base. Doodle, one of the... Uh, between the two, I want to favor Doodle. But my heart's a little bit with Advil, just because they don't want to see all PvP from here on out. Reminiscent of previous rounds of God... Yeah, he's going to just... Wow. And he's going to do it straight up in Advil's face. So Pylon right outside the natural expansion. Kakaru exploding in beautiful blue fashion along that edge. But Advil might seal in his front. Before Doodle's really able to capitalize, we'll have to see Gateway warping in. This probe... This is very aggressive on Doodle's part. This probe, what it needs to do is actually walk in and blockade right now. Yeah. Prevent that base. Yeah, prevent the barracks from building. Ah, isn't able to prevent it, but he's able to get in position. But zealots are going to be very, very nearby. And this is an... Ah, oh, and gets the gas steal. Great play. All right, so probe going to try to harass as much as it can. Zealot's going to be on the front. This isn't even all in <laughs> from Protoss. Protoss can do the one gate proxy just to harass early game economy and play from there. Two gate tends to be a little bit more aggressive all in ish. If Terran handles it well, though, they can end up with an economic lead. Still only one barracks. Advil still has no idea that the gateway is so close and might even be shocked. And actually, the first Zealot going to come out and be able to sail the front. Before the first Marine is even popping out. Now this SCV is going to wander out and be like, oh, okay. SCV is pulling off the line to go ahead and repair that supply depot. Probe trying to harass. First Marine working on that Zealot. Looks like Advil for the moment has successfully repair, uh, repelled this attack by knowing that a depot above barracks is a tight seal. Two Zealots wandering out. <clears throat> Another SCV is going to need to be on point to help repair. One Marine pulling back to go ahead and try to get that Assimilator down sooner rather than later. <clears throat> no second SCV. Okay, now the second SCV moving out a little bit lazily. Three Marines out. That Assimilator still not taken out. But thus far, it looks like Doodle. Yeah, he's going to have some Zealots at least at the moment on the front, but very likely going to get bullied out because these Zelts have taken a lot of free damage. Hasn't built a third. So Advil going to be able to get... Let's see how, how much he slows plays it. Advil already plopping down his command center interior to base. But honestly, he could probably lift this barracks and push these Zealots out. Doodle grabbing his Nexus behind this, plopping down a forge just to make sure he doesn't get steamrolled. Same uh, simulator warping in, building the rest of the space. This is a recoverable position from Doodle, if you can believe that. But thus far, this is going to give Advil a nice early position economically. Because it's just one gateway versus uh, of aggression. Usually you want to get some damage done with that. But it's not such that, yeah, you can't build your Nexus and play the game from here. Advil with a great defense, though. This is going to give him... Nice economic lead. The Zealots looking for that barracks to lift off to maybe try to sweep through and still get some damage. Advil being very, very careful with this. Plumping down two factories before that command center finishes. And all he needs is one Vulture to go ahead and sweep out and control that natural expansion. Or a couple of SCVs linebackering might be able to shove it out from there. It needs to be somewhat careful, though. Because the Zealots are looking to just lurk on that edge. SCV attacking that pylon to try to draw a Zealot back. Looks like it got wiped out by that Zealot. The damage Zealot being left behind. Factory up. Fifth Marine being produced. Single Vulture. 
on the way, a cannon preventatively being placed at Doodle's natural expansion. But he does have that natural expansion up a little bit ahead of Advil. And actually, as I'm looking at this, I take it back. Doodle, aside from losing the gateway and the pylon, I think that's what's going to set him behind eventually. Back a little bit. So the Vulture wandering out with the Marines. But if Advil, or sorry, if Doodle can actually back out with these alts, and preserve them. Yeah, it's not that... Not too bad a loss for him. So, I'm still going to call this in Advil's favor. But you can see the probe count a little bit ahead. Mexus came online a little bit earlier. But it forced a cannon. Earlier forge. And this is going to be a pylon gateway loss. Behind this. The vultures... Let's see how aggressive they get. They still might... So the, the zealots do need to blockade. Because vultures could sneak right across. I think he, once four of them are up, just try to shove through into the main. And dragoons are delayed. But it looks like Advil... Well, let's see if he goes for it. Nope, not going to go for it. Going to go ahead and back up. Yeah, Zealots are there to blockade, so I think that's a wise choice. Doodle moving the dragoon out to go ahead and try to shove them off the front, opening up that lurker egg as well. But settling back into more of a macro-oriented mid-game. Advil does have some nice map control. He's dropping double factory behind this. And I wonder if he's actually going to follow this up. So he sees the cannon. I wonder if he's going to follow this up with a three siege tank push right back into Doodle. It's kind of looking that way. Going to repair that vulture. Because he's got the five marines already. He's got the four vultures to start. It's just kind of... Yeah, I think he's going to fold this back into... This isn't even FD at this stage. Because the natural expansion is already online. But let's see if he does it with two tanks uh, or potentially four. Looks like he's going to wait it... Or maybe just the three. That's usually the classic. Is you got the three, you got the marines. And then you got the vultures. The vultures sweeping out, just making sure... Trying to keep... Advil on us. The Dragoons, ooh, pressing out towards that natural expansion, taking some free damage. That could be a dangerous situation. So yeah, it's going to be three with Vulture follow-up. A shuttle is out here. But without Siege Tech, and with plenty of Vultures on the ground, this shuttle's kind of a... Uh, eating into the troop count, where it's going to be kind of null. Some mines now planted on the front door. Here's the trick. Is with these... Marines and tanks moving out with the Vulture. How well do they fare against the three Dragoons? And do the Dragoons back up and just end up getting taken down by mines? An Observer moving out. So Advil with this delayed attack, I don't know that it's going to be as successful. Let's see if he dedicates to it or not. Looks like I think he's thinking the better of it. He's like, nah, let me just go ahead and... So investing is getting Siege Tech. He does have a lot of tanks at the natural. He's going to pull the trigger. So Marines moving out. Vultures moving out as well. There are several Dragoons. Two gateways. Plus one weapons upgrading. Wow. Actually might catch Doodle being super greedy as Doodle was going to go try to expand and go to two base on top of this. So even though this is like a delayed late push, there's more siege tanks in the grouping, and he's catching Doodle in a tech switch. So Advil pressing forward. He's also got a lot of Marines to help push that shuttle back. That shuttle's taken an immense amount of damage already. One siege tank down for the entirety of the shuttle's contents. A lot of the Dragoons already wiped out. And there's not a lot of reinforcements that are going to be coming, where in the meantime, you got a stream of Vultures... Pressing forward. SCV's also engaging on the front. Now Doodle's got problems where even if he... Well, let's see if he can preserve that natural expansion. He's definitely going to have trouble defending that third as well. I would cancel that Nexus now, to be honest. And just play, uh, try to play the game from here. The two... C scouts! He's going scouts! Missile turrets coming online. Just outside that natural expansion, the Dragoons skirting through. They should be able to cut off reinforcements. Advil taking his third at the 6 o'clock. But you got four Marines and turrets to potentially defend against scouts incoming to buy time to get those carriers online. And right now, Doodle does have 
a 10 probe or a 10 probe worker lead. And he is getting his third online. So he was pressing that natural expansion. The tanks are not here. No Marines in that bunker as well. So Doodle actually might be able to take out some SEVs. That's pulling out. Siege tanks working at the natural expansion. But here come the scouts. They can chew through those Marines first. Maybe take out those SEVs. Is it enough, though? Advil pressing in. The Dragoon's coming back to home base. Doodle in the red. A Reaver and some Zealots in the shuttle moving up to go ahead and drop some bombs. The Reaver actually able to land on those leftmost siege tanks. Mind drag into the siege tanks. Only a single siege tank left on the front. Dragoon's coming up from the south. Between that and the Reaver, it looks like this is going to clean up. More Vultures pressing forward, however. But they're going to be pushed back by the Reaver and the incoming Dragoon. So it looks like Advil is now in a bit of trouble. Because all of that pressure getting dismantled through a proxy attack from Doodle. And he is now down 16 supply. Plus, Doodle... Is starting to tack on carriers off three bases. More siege tanks moving forward. Thing is, is Advil is at three bases. So this is three base versus three base. Some probes getting stomped as they're making their way across. The scout pressing forward. A marine is there to counter it. I can't believe I'm saying that. Siege tank. Looks like it's going to get wiped out on the front. Advil still desperately wanting to cap this. Because if he can do that, that will be a strong foothold in this match. However, behind this, first carrier out. That carry count needs to grow for Doodle to stay relevant. He's up 20 supply, though. Clearing mines with scouts and dragoons. It looks like finally some Goliaths out to take care of that initial scout. That also reveals that, hey, yeah, start producing dragoons because we did a tech switch. Doodle somehow pulling that off. I expected him to actually just not have enough to survive. Especially with Advil doing a very quick transition. Dragoons fighting and skirmishing against this attack force. At least able to keep them out of the breach of that natural expansion. Four factories with two machine shops rolling behind this. An armory, double armory up. Armor one building, plus one weapons already online. For Advil. Three base versus three base, which is usually an advantage for Terran. However, Doodle is up in supply, and those carriers are starting to take the field. And I don't see sufficient am amounts of Goliaths to repel them at this stage. Ferocious game one. Zealots waiting in the wings with those Dragoons to make sure that Advil isn't able to... close that noose around Doodle's neck by... Holding out that interior expansion. It looks like Doodle was even thinking about trying to grab another expansion here at that 11 o'clock base. But there's a mine in the way. Vultures streaming out to that location. Dragoons engaging the Vultures. Vultures able to take out that probe. Observer overhead actually seeing all of this as well. Seeing the... Some mines being cleared from Advil's side, realizing this is going to be his new staging point. So now Advil needs to think about, okay, how do we deal with this? Three carriers pressing forward. Poking away at the SEVs, which are currently the main source of anti-air on the front. There's only a single Goliath, so it's going to be turrets being built to make it happen. Clever little repair trick on that Goliath to try to keep it alive a little bit longer. But right now, Advil bleeding siege tanks as the carrier is taking the air. And yeah, diligently picking off those SCVs. And then working on, on the real prize. Unfortunately, this turret looks like it is getting some base damage on this carrier. Advil need, Sorry, Doodle needs to be careful. Otherwise, he's going to lose a carrier nearly for free. Zealot sweeping down with the rest of the Dragoons. And Advil's front being broken. Between the ground forces and the carriers, Advil potentially in trouble here. He is at three bases, but down near 40 supply. Does have plus one weapons, but that's matching, I believe. Let's see if I can grab an... It's so hard to just grab the single. There it is. Plus one weapons is there. 
for the carriers as well. And he's Doodle's got sufficient ground forces to chew through the rest of this army. Gonna wipe out everything here mid-map. How many factories do we have behind this now? Six factories. A wraith has been produced. Seventh factory coming online. Doodle pressing towards Advil's natural expansion. He has two vultures on the wings. Maybe to disrupt. Yeah, going to be able to disrupt. What would be Doodle's fourth. Goliath in large numbers. Ooh, huge mine hit. Clearing out a lot of those troops. A single zealot going to be able to peel off and find that third base. Maybe get some SCV kills as well. Advil up in the worker count. That Vulture going to try to sweep in and save. Well, go Vulture. Come on. Going to just watch as the zealot feasts at this third. What a lazy bones. Carriers... Sneaking into Advil's base, trying to pick off the armories so that Goliath cannot take the field. Plus two weapons, I think plus two weapons, sorry, plus three weapons started and canceled. It is going to be only the Goliaths remaining on the ground now to try to deal with this carrier fleet. Doodle pressing the advantages he has. The supply gap, however, is closing. Science facility also going to be wiped out, so getting some nice critical infrastructure hits. Doodle establishing his fourth. Hurting on resources as main is mined out, as is Advil's. Three base versus two base. Advil evening up the supply count. He does have plus two weapons, plus one armor. The carrier is coming back to the defensive position. A vulture able to sneak in, get some kills. And some disruption there, and things resetting. Right now, I'm going to say tech advantage, potentially to Doodle. Wraith quickly wiped out. I think this is sufficient Goliath to press into this carrier force. The Dragoon's quickly getting wiped out. Not a lot of ground support. The carrier's going to exit stage right over the, the protective terrain. Allow the Zealots and Dragoons to try to engage that Goliath force to make it a little bit of a better fight. And Advil needs to be careful because he needs to preserve the Goliath he has on the ground. Actually going to call GG there. Realizing that Doodle has an overwhelming attack force and he doesn't have an armory. Let's, I'm going to back up the replay uncharacteristically a little bit here. To show that he just doesn't have enough. This is kind of the critical moments here actually catching it. So that's science facility gone. But critically, yeah, another armory needs to come online instantaneously. And we'll see if the armory is even finished by the time that attack... Because this is a critical bit. Needing to get these armories back up and having sufficient Goliath. So it looks like he did manage to come get them back online. But there's just too many. Too large an attack force that was going to be able to dive in the natural expansion. Doodle with map control. Advil calling GG in a wild game one. Fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.